Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another video with Brooklyn. How are you all doing this wonderful morning? So, we're going to jump into the video, okay? I don't like to linger on and do a lot of talking. I like to just get to the point of it, get it done, and keep it moving, right? So, we are going to be talking about Wendy Williams again, okay? So, it says here, Entertainment TV, Cleaning the House, Wendy Williams fires management team and is only speaking to her son and ex. I don't know why she want to speak to him. If she could speak to him, she could speak to anybody. Because he just did her dirty out of everything. I think, you know, a lot of her downfall came after him. It's like she just never could bounce back after he did. Well, after what he did came out. Especially impregnating his uh, lover. You know what I'm saying? It's like after that, Wendy just couldn't get herself together. So to me, she fires her management team and is only speaking to her son and her ex. But why would she want to even speak to him and have her all up in have him all up in her business? I mean, this man did her like a piece of gum under her shoe, just walked all over her, and then when it got stuck, he scraped it off and kept it moving, you know? So it says here um, that she is only speaking to her son and her ex as she's replaced by Sherry Shepard on show, okay? This was updated uh 16 hours ago. And it says here, um, multiple sources have exclusively said that Wendy has gotten rid of both her longtime manager, Bernie Young, and her recent crisis manager, Howard Br Bragman. Okay? One insider told the son, Bernie and Howard are out. They don't even have a way to get in contact with her. No one has a way to get in contact with, with, with Wendy, excuse me. She doesn't even have her own phone anymore. The Wendy insider claimed Howard was bought on by the show's production company, um, but was never hired by Wendy herself. Okay. They denied they hired him directly. They, 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 they even, her, her, uh, Production company is denying that they even hired him in the first place, okay? It says, Howard was brought on in September, just two days after Wendy was transported to a New York City hospital for psychiatric evaluation, okay? The same insider added that Bernie's hiring back in 2019 was also led in large part by the production company, Although Wendy was able to agree with his role. Okay. Meanwhile, another source alleges Wendy has days where she doesn't know who Bernie or Howard are. As she struggles to recognize even longtime friends at times. One friend insisted the former host is in good hands with her son, Kevin Jr. Who is caring for his mother with guidance from the star's ex. Oh my God. Kevin Hunter Sr. Now, I can't help but, but believe this. This is my opinion. The only reason why Kevin Sr. is even in the picture is because if Wendy Williams is really this sick, of course he's guiding his son, but there's a lot of uh, 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 money involved, you know? And it would be a sad thing because Kevin Jr. loves his father, undoubtedly, right? And it would be a sad thing for something to happen to Wendy Williams and Kevin Sr. and his wife get their hands on the rest of her money you know because anything happens when you're grieving especially a child grieving their parents you know and kevin jr even though he's not a little tiny kid you know he would be grieving his mom if something happened and that would allow him to be manipulated by his father because his father is a manipulator you know, you remember in the beginning when Wendy and him was going through the, the, the divorce, he tried to man manipulate his son then to side with him against his mother, you know? And I just hope that he's helping out of the kindness of his heart because I don't understand why she, I don't I don't understand why he would just be in the picture. I don't. I just don't. Okay, it says Kevin Jr. has power of attorney. Okay, he's making sure she gets the help she needs, but his dad is helping him manage what that means he needs to do. Wait a minute, let me read that again. Kevin Jr. has power of attorney, but his dad is helping him manage 
what that means he needs to do. He's young and because of everything going on, Wendy isn't opposed to having her ex-husband help her. I don't understand it. I just don't. I, I, I just don't. Okay. It says here, Howard released a lengthy statement purportedly on behalf of Wendy on Tuesday following the co confirmation that her show was canceled and replaced by Sherry Shepard's new series. His initial statement said Wendy was thankful for the support she received from the production company and even Sherry, who has been guest hosting the Wendy Williams show on and off for months, okay? He said it has been a challenging time for Wendy as she deals with her health issues. She is incredibly grateful to Debmar Mercury, to Sherry and everybody else who has supported the show through this time. She, more than anyone, understands the reality of the syndicate television. You can't go to the marketplace and sell a show that's the maybe Wendy show. She understands why this decision was made from a business point of view, and she has been assured by the production company that should her health get to a point where she can host again, she should, should host again, and should her desire be that she hosts her show again, she can come back, okay? Wendy's, it says here, within hours of the crisis manager statement, Wendy denounced Howard for speaking out, okay? Mr. Bragman, although I appreciate your concerns and respect you immensely, excuse me, Mr. Bragman, although I appreciate your concerns, and respect you immensely, I have not authorized you to make any statements on my behalf regarding my current situa situation with the production company. Again, thanks for your continued concern and support. Howard then called into question who was posting for Wendy's new account. He said, I'm honestly not convinced of the source of that social media post. So he's trying to say that Wendy Williams did not say that, that she agreed with him making a post on her behalf, okay? So when my old friend Wendy FaceTimes me personally and we alone have a chance to discuss recent events together, we can figure out the best path forward. Okay, so it just, this is a lengthy article. It's just horrible. And, and, and I feel bad for Wendy because for one thing, she's a human being and she's a woman like me, right? And it's like everything has just been stripped from her. Even her bank, Wells Fargo, has taken her money. Even though her son is her, her payee and her guardian, you know, it's just like the money is locked down. They still haven't settled that. Now her husband is coming back into the picture, you know, assisting the son. I find that to be kind of sketchy on my part, um, that's my belief, and the, the show has been replaced, you know, been taken away from her, everything is like crumbling around her, everything is crumbling around her, and it's just sad, because that's just reality, anything can be stripped from you within a twinkling of an eye, nothing's guaranteed, even money, you can have millions of dollars and lose every dime, you can have a family, you can have your health, and it's, and, and it's just gone within, and, and, and within a twinkling of an eye. No one's guaranteed anything. No one's guaranteed anything. You have to live accordingly and be careful on things that you do, you know, and how you live because, you know, it's just amazing how you could be up one day and down tomorrow. And I, I feel awful for this woman because I've been through situations where I've lost everything. And, you know, I had to start over from scratch. I mean, everything. And I had to start over. And it's hard, you know. And you can do it. You're able to do it. But I didn't have sicknesses. I didn't have diseases, you know. And you don't know what's true anymore because her, her, her uh, crisis management is reporting on her behalf. And then somebody else or herself is coming behind saying they didn't give him permission. He's not believing that it's her. So it's so much confusion going on around Wendy Williams right now. It's just like a lot of gossip and speculation. And it's just ironic, you know, a lot of gossip. And that's what she did for a living, you know, and 
Sherry is going to have her own series. And I don't know if it's going to be a gossip series, you know. But if she's taking Wendy Williams' place and she's going to be doing exactly what Wendy Williams did, I think the only one that should have been able to fill those shoes would have been Nene Leakes. She would have done well in that spot. I'm surprised they did not even offer her to come in and just fill in as a guest host as this was going on because Nene Leakes, to me, would have been awesome in that position. But again, I don't know what kind of TV show that Sherry is going to be, you know, having, you know. But Sherry does not strike me as the type of person that's going to be able to have a gossip TV show. But, you know, everybody is a pro at gossiping. Everybody knows how to gossip. This is keep getting in my face. Everybody knows how to gossip. So I guess, you know, she just doesn't strike me as the type of a person that gossips, but you never know what people, you know, do, you know? But Nene Leakes, on the other hand, she can run that mouth and she can tell everything, you know? So that's who I think should have been offered a position and they could have, you know, kept it in the same line, just named it something different, you know, like Sherry Shepard, you know, maybe she's going to be a gossiping, but they are naming something else. Of course, it can't be the Wendy Williams show. Maybe it's going to be the Sherry Shepard show and she'll still continue to gossip and talk about everybody, you know, but she's going to have to be careful too, because you have to remember just because it's your job does not make it morally right. It does not make it morally right. Just because it's your job, you have to be careful because what goes around comes around. It doesn't matter what ex aspect of life that you are in and what you're doing in your life. What goes around comes around. If you're doing something to harm somebody and to hurt somebody's reputation, I don't care if you draw a paycheck from it. That even makes it worse because you're benefiting off of someone else's embarrassment and their feelings. And that comes back. Wendy Williams was doing her job, but you have she, she did not realize that you reap what you sow. When you're talking about people, it comes back. When you're talking about people losing their money and, and their marriage is breaking up and their husband's cheating and their wives cheating, it falls back on you. When you talk about people being sick and, and you know, just, and, and I'm not saying, when I say talk about, I mean gossiping. I don't mean you know, just talking about it. And, oh, I hope she's going to be okay. You know, her husband cheated on her. That was wrong. I mean, like, gossiping. That's what she got paid to do. And people have come forward and asked her to stop, and she continued to do so. And when people ask you to stop, you need to stop. If it's your job, you still need to stop and, and, and figure out another way that you can get it across without in, in, in insulting people and embarrassing people is what I'm saying. Even though we know people's lives when you're in the spotlight, your life is in the media. Plain and simple, we already know that. Excuse me, guys. It is hot in here. It's warm outside this morning and it's hot in the house. So y'all excuse me. This is my face rag, so it's clean. This is what I use to wipe my face in the morning when I'm hot. So, you know, you just have to, that's my opinion. You know, everybody might not agree with me, you know, and you might say, well, you're talking about Wendy. I'm not gossiping about Wendy. I'm reading what's in the news and I'm giving my opinion, but, and I'm not getting paid for it. But when you gossip about people, you know, sometimes you put your own spin in there and sometimes the media don't have everything right. And then you add your own stuff and then people coming forth saying, stop it. And then you're saying, you know, it's just, you have to be careful. It does not make it morally right because it's entertaining. You know, so anyway, we're going to start off with my outfit of the day. It's something simple. As you can see, I have on a black and white striped sweater. Okay, I'm going to try to stand up on my little chair again. So, and I have on some black leggings with the track stripes, right? And then down here around the ankle, it says love. And it's just a, a loose fitting black and white sweater. Nothing special. Right? And I have my hair in a bun with the part down the center. Well, sort of in the center. And I'm just going to wear some Michael Kors sneakers. That's what I'm going to wear today. I'm not going to pull out any boots. I just don't feel like trying to find anything. That's the little emblem. 
Michael Kors emblem. And that's what I'm going to be wearing. Michael Kors right there. Okay, so I hope you all enjoy y'all day today. And with that being said, I'm going to say Phil Donke. That's thank you very much in German. So Phil Donke for watching me. And choose, that's what? That's buying German. <laughs>